on the world last year was how patient I had to be throughout every round. And even though I hate it, you know, it's just something that I have as an athlete have to practice. I know you told us at the press conference you're like you're gonna do whatever it takes to cross that finish line first, whether it was a world record or not. Do you expect a world record today? I was expecting whatever it took to win. You know, everybody gets focused on world records, but at the end of the day, it happens in the right place at the right time, with the right win, with the right crowd, in the right shape. And, uh, and this is indoor, you know? I'm just excited that I'm running this fast consistently, because that just means outdoor, it's, it's gonna be a whole nother ball for us. So when it comes to your start, I wanna touch on that briefly. I know we've seen you progress, as you mentioned, over the last year. And also, just knowing where you started at the beginning of this indoor season to where you are now, how much time and effort have you been really honing on when it came to your start to be the closest starter that we're starting to see you come now? I say this is a lot of mindset changing. Uh, not so much, oh, we gotta be so perfect in all the steps. It's we gotta have stiff ankles, or we need to think about accelerating. Like the race is an acceleration. It's not the start in everything else. It's an acceleration throughout every phase. And that's how we've been thinking about, you know, when push puts down the block, it's like don't even think about setting them all that much. Like just be ready to accelerate to 10, to 20, to 30 and so on and you know, that's kind of how our block sessions have been now as we get later in the year yeah we're going to put more emphasis on that first 10 meters on that second 10 meters on that second third and naturally we'll just develop faster and more powerful how would you rate your start today to be honest i have to see it i i consider it, 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 it felt like a 10 okay. even though i had like i've been getting used to the feeling of being uncomfortable which is very hard talent to learn and concept to understand, but knowing that I'm uncomfortable, but I'm in the right place, that's what I was focused on in that step. And I said, as long as my second step feels uncomfortable, then that means I'm doing something right. And once I hit the, I knew that I hit it, I was like, this race is mine. How excited are you for Glasgow? I'm extremely excited. This is the only team I have yet to make, and I just made it. And I came in first, and I'm a world leader. I mean, this, all things that I didn't expect, to be honest. I was just ready to make the team be like, I'm gonna do how I did world in 2023 in the 100. But no, it's a different ball game. This is my weakest event. So, you know, coming outdoor, whoo, fireworks. Fireworks. No, I. Talk about the grand slam. Yes. You know, I have a, like, I mean, again, just that versatility that we're into the other issue that we're like, how proud are you about? I'm extremely proud. Like, I literally was looking at the time, like, so often, and, like, I couldn't get over the fact that I finally have made it to this upper echelon of six. 43 and you know I still got more to learn and more to give and I'm like wow the belief of myself that I can always improve is showing up and as I got in the blocks today I was like I have the talent to be able to put everything together when it matters most.